Okay, I'm going to show you a before and after video. I'm going to show you uh, my yard as it appeared in a video in April uh, when I was at the beginning of my um, renovation process because of my thatch buildup. Well, you'll see when my yard did not green up. It looked horrible at the beginning of spring. And uh, I'm going to show you the end result. Uh, and the reason why my, my yard looks so terrible for, for the first time ever was because I did not have good cultivating techniques. I was letting my grass grow too high when mowing it, letting it get mowed or mowing it often enough. I was probably irrigating a little bit too much. And I had in the past, um, not, this la not this past year, maybe not even the year before, but prior to that, I was fertilizing way too much. I didn't know what I was doing. So I just kind of wanted to show you. So if you have these problems and your grass doesn't green up or you have the problems like mine where you have bare, bare spots all of a sudden appear in your yard and your yard suddenly looks like crap out of nowhere and you don't know it was not a fungus and we'll I'll talk later next year probably, but how do you know it's not a fungus? There's ways um, to show you what you can do uh, and to, to repair the damage um, will predominantly be next year. But I just kind of wanted to show you the after. Okay. I'm a yard person. So, just wanted to show you something. Probably should have done this on the other part of my yard that I predominantly pay most attention to. But this is, if you can see it, this is a slope side of my house. If you see all this, you might be wondering what in God's name is this. This is what you call thatch, okay? I have dethatched manually. This strip over here, this area, and got most of the clippings up. But they're not going to be like they would be if I had done it. Just dethatch this, and then I'll have all this to go, just like I did the whole rest of my yard. That'll be really fun back there. Anyway, point is to tell you, the what this is is dead grass, okay? You're not really gonna find weeds in my yard. Hopefully, in my front yard anyway, we won't talk about my backyard. But this is what happens when you, if you're a person like me who grows your grass high and, uh, don't maybe don't uh let it get mowed or mowed it in my case let someone mow it uh often enough even though my my uh grass is in really good shape if you look you'll see this dead grass like this i don't know if you can see this real well right there but anyway it's lurking under your good grass on top of your soil which can cause compaction it can cause your um lawn not to be able to absorb fertilizer um water Things like that. Roots will not take deep uh, the new roots. They'll run over it one another, uh, which will cause uh, all kind of problems. Well, my yard used to be perfect. Like uh, you didn't have these waves in it like you do now. But anyway, just some people just thought it might be interesting to let you guys know. What I'll have to do is after I get all, I use the dethatcher, and then I come back and pick it up by hand. The grass clippings will rake it, and then um, if I have a spot that ends up really bare like oh god i hate to even show you this side of my grass because i've always had really good grass but when at spring up green up my my, my yard was a disaster so i can't even begin to tell you what i've had to do over here but i did that this entire yard over here which looks terrible now ugly 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 i haven't been able to to mow it uh because i've got a uh, seed sod all kind of things happening over here and so, uh, well, after I dethatch it, like you might have spots like this that you might want to overseed, but you better have plenty of time to, to water a lot, especially with the heat now. And um, you can't mow it for a while. So anyway, while my yard looks like oh, crap, I've never in my life had a yard looks like this. It's about to drive me insane. Point is, the moral or the theme of this video is that I've never done a video. Well, I don't know. I was just fixing to come in and get ready for church, and I thought, God. My neighbors probably wonder what in God's name I'm doing out here. I don't have trees. Well, I do have that tree, but it's, that's a neighbor's tree. But it's not like all this is coming from the tree. I'm dethatching. I'm getting the dead grass out from under the good grass. You, you might see grass like this and think, wow, that looks great. No weeds anywhere. But look, look what lies underneath. Crazy, huh? Yeah, have a good Sunday. Anyway, what I wanted to do is to, to show you real quick uh, the after of my yard. Okay, I'm going to attach this to the before back in april uh, at the beginning of this video my yard was terrible it had thatch build up it did not green up it was uneven it's still a little uneven we'll talk about that but uh, i want to show you the end result all i basically did was 
Dethatch, this is a manual dethatching rake. I'm gonna show you just real quick what I did. I didn't put any other machines on here. I did one application of iron that I, did, I think it didn't even, it was like 10 year old liquid iron that they don't even make anymore that I found in my garage. It's been 5,000 degrees since I put it in there. And one application of Belorganite, which is uh, organic uh, fertilizer. And that's the only thing that's touched this yard. Oh, oh one other uh, application uh, of uh, basically weed, um, weed chemicals. And that's pretty much it. But I seeded it a little bit, mainly a uh, few sod places. So it's sod, plug, seed, I was just playing around. But look at my yard and see, this is, the, this is what you can do. And I, the next time, next um, season, next summer, I'm gonna buy a, um, a push uh, dethatcher. It looks like a lawnmower, I saw it online the other day. And I, but this last time, all I did was use my um, rake right here. And I'm gonna show you just kind of how I did it. Um, come over here. I just got off work, so I'm in my workplace still. But all I did, you're not gonna have much pull up right here except for the glass, grass clippings from, from the last uh, regular mowing. But when I had thatch, which was just basically a bunch of roots and um, dead roots and dead grass, when I pulled like this, it would pull a lot of dead roots and grass up. And, and you saw those clumps. Oh, you see those in the beginning of my video. It, it took a little while, it was a little work. Had to put a little backbow in it. Um, you look around, that's the worst part of my yard there. And my yard looks so much better. So I'm actually gonna show right here and over here. It didn't look terrible over here too. Just wanna show you the after before, uh, you see the before and the beginning of this. I wanna show you the after and all it is is dethatching. Just get a good panoramic view of my yard. I just wanna show them the after. pretty much this right here and good cultivating practices.